Hey, welcome to Open Seating. I'm your host, Brian Lee. Now, before we begin, I want to let you know about a watch and win contest we're hosting here on the CW57. A secret word is going to pop up in today's episode. Enter that for your chance to win some great kitchen accessories. Now, my first guests are from the Wonder Bar. Joining me today are Rick Shuffle, the manager, and Sean Bortz, the executive chef. Thanks for coming back, guys. Thank you, you for having us. Now, uh, I don't want to start with food right away. I actually want to start about your fedoras. Now, it seems like some of your staff members are also wearing them, too. Is that correct? Yeah, we're wearing them on uh, Friday and Saturday night now. Uh, people that saw this show were, uh, always ask me about our hat, about my hat. And so finally I said, okay, we'll start wearing our hats. So everybody's wearing them on the weekends. So are you also wearing them around town, like uh, when you're at the fitness gym or not, whatever? Not necessarily, but uh, I could. Okay. <laughs> it's a good way to distinguish yourself. Yeah. Okay, on a more serious note, now last time you guys were here, we just sort of scratched the surface about your community involvement. So what's new since then? Well, uh, recently we did a, a Buckets for Hunger uh, benefit at the Wonder Bar, and Paul Molitor was our guest, and he gave me a couple hitting tips. And, uh, and we're looking into uh, some homeless and hunger uh, benefits coming up, too, to join them. And uh, talking about a picnic uh, this summer where Sean's putting, putting a lot into that. So. Well, the, uh, I wonder how you guys choose which you know, groups and communities to help out. Well, we... we, we get together and visit about it and usually we go for the ones that look like they really need our help uh, the smaller ones are do you are pick certain ones. categories or uh the homeless really zoning in on the homeless, homeless yeah. uh, hunger is kind of coming in second but uh both of them are pretty important to us so that's wonderful. we want to we want to be part of it so uh something else that's new going on is your gangster hours is that correct the gangster hours yeah it's um from four to six monday through thursday and basically, it's a um, uh, discount on all drinks, and uh, Sean has uh, come up with a really tasty and uh, appet uh, appetizer list for the, for the gangsta hours, too. So. Oh, and what are some of those? We're doing a hot bacon and spinach and artichoke dip. We're also doing uh, jumbo pretzels that are homemade, and we're also doing our ahi tuna. And we're also doing a seasonal cheese board. So this is all like a step above normal bar food, then? Correct. And this is a great thing to come to right after work? Oh, yeah. Come on down, and uh, Brent and I will put a little Wonder Bar hospitality on you. When, uh, how, well, how long ago did this start? Um, about a month. Oh, okay, and yeah. the crowd's been pretty good. Just kind of fresh. Imagine. Yeah, we're getting some, some pretty good bites out there, yeah. And, and plus with all the things going on in town and basketball and so forth starting? Yeah, they're, uh, they're coming on down, but we'd like to see more people. That'd be fine. What's an example of a drink <laughs> special? Um... Well, on all our martinis, our, our, uh, we, it, there's like a $2 discount on all martinis to start with. Yep. And uh, on beers, it's basically about a dollar off on every beer. So So mar beers, martinis, wine? Anything, you name it, old fashions, you know. Uh, well, that sounds like drink. a great yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to get my fork and knife ready because after this, I'm going to eat, so I can't wait. Stay tuned. We're back with the Wonder Bar, and it's time to eat. I cannot wait. Look at that spread that you guys have. Well, let's let's start with your uh, scallops. Okay. Tell me about those, please. We've got some dry pack scallop. We blacken them, and we just use straight clarified butter. And then I do a ginger cream sauce that we make at the restaurant. We throw that on top. Usually we serve it on pasta, but I thought we'd do it this way a little different today. And then we got some parsley pesto here, too. Throw a little bit of that on there. And we got some uh, daikon, carrots, English cucumbers, and radicchio to go on top. Well, this is really nice. I know a lot of places will just stop at the scallops, but you guys just pile it on with you this bet, you bet. coffee and stuff. Okay, I can't wait here. Ooh, that looks wonderful. Mm. What I like about that parsley pesto is that, in contrast to a basil pesto, it's, it's more mild, yeah. subtle. It really lets the um, scallops stand out, so yeah. that's, that's really good. We always like to try to add, uh, bring out the, the best quality of the whatever we're using, the scallops. We want that to shine, mm -hmm. and we add some other things just to bring it up. Enough. Well, you certainly did that. That's great. And then next we got our, our Kansas City strip here. Ooh, almost hit that glass. And we got some two-hour caramelized onions, and then we got our special uh, mushrooms here, too, we do with a special herb butter. Okay, great. Look at that beauty. Now, tell me about your the Kansas City. Well, we, most places serve a New York strip. We decided to do the Kansas City because when we first opened, we wanted to do different steaks from anybody else. Um, and uh, my philosophy is a go big or go home, you know. So this is a more wow factor when it comes to your table, you know. 
Well, I like it. First of all, I like the marbling. I like the rich flavor. It, it is wonderful. And the, yes, you can tell those onions have been caramelized a good long portion there. I really like that a lot. Um, and Rick, you got something oh, for yeah. me to yeah, watch I got this a down little, with, huh? uh, I got a little Dino here for you, a little martini we, we whipped up at uh, the Wonder Bar. It's uh, Dino named after Dean Martin? Dean Martin, the Rat Pack. That's our shtick. So do you have the whole rest of the Rat Pack yeah, in pretty your... pretty much cover them all. But this is um, uh, Tangare Gin and a little Chevis Regal. And we played mm. around a little bit, which is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And came up with that. That's a nice stiff drink. I think uh, people at home don't realize that we're shooting this at 6 a.m. No, just kidding. <laughs> but uh, no, this is actually wonderful. I like it that strong. And it's strong in a good way, I mean yep. it. Uh, tell me about this, some of the other Rat Pack drinks. Um, we've got uh, we got the Sinatra. We've got... And what's uh, that? What's in that? Um, what's in the Sinatra? I think I need my list for that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> the truth. We also do the Maryland. We do the we Maryland. The Garland. Excellent. Yeah. You know, any of those old-time, you know, stars we... Got the Sammy Davis and I can't wait to try them when I'm in, in your place. Well, yeah. thank you guys so thank much you. for appearing thank again, you. and we'll be right back after this. <laughs>